Welcome to today's video and welcome to Queensland. Yesterday I landed into Brisbane. Oh, and here's my travel companion. Oh, uh, what's going on guys? Sam Wave here and in today's video we're in Australia. We are though. So the other day I flew from LA to Brisbane and then this morning we flew from Brisbane to Mackay. We have spent the morning here just exploring. We went for a lovely lunch, just explored the area a little bit, but we are now in our car. I'm driving in a foreign country, can you believe it? Where did Adam go? Because I don't know this guy that I am. I am Australian now. We're here to experience a gap year. Typical activities that you would get up to if you decided to come on like a working visa here. Some of the jobs that you would have the opportunity to get involved with and some of the fun that you would be having. So basically we're on a gap year. Gap year. Gap year. Gap year. We're on the beach waiting for the sunrise and I don't know if you can see behind me but the wallabies and a couple of the kangaroos are on the beach as well and this is just absolutely incredible. actually witnessing this we're watching kangaroos and wallabies eat their breakfast on the beach at sunrise it's the craziest thing I've it's seen. so crazy we came out here last night we saw the stars and wasn't it incredible i've never seen so many stars it was crazy well this morning was absolutely incredible we are now heading over on a walk we're walking on to wedge island which is that island right over there it's here. It's <laughs> Say goodbye to Cape Hillsborough, which we're so sad about, aren't we? We left our Australian, Australian family. Yeah, it was so sad. But we have just come 10 minutes down the road. We are here at the Old Station Tea House for breakfast. It is about 9 a.m. and we're gonna go eat some good food, right? Yep, I am starving. I cannot wait. Car. Welcome to Ellie Beach. We are here. I am changed, showered, everything. I feel amazing. I've been told that Ellie is the type of place which is such a hub for travellers. So this is the place you come, spend a while, get some bar work. There's like a ton of different jobs you can get involved with here. That's just one example. But yeah, we're going to explore the area. We have a boat trip booked in the next couple of days. Adam's doing something crazy tomorrow. And it's just a place that we've been really recommended to check out as it's a place that a ton of people like to stay for a good amount of time if they're on their gap year or they're traveling Australia. What's happening today? Jumping out of a plane at 50,000 feet.
and welcome back to Ellie. I'm back in my hotel room. We've just packed up and I'm heading off to the next place. We really enjoyed our time on the British Defender, didn't we? We did. It was so fun. Going to like around the Whitsundays was just incredible. Going to Whitehaven Beach. We went to this island called Langford Island, I'm pretty sure it's called. And we actually had the incredible opportunity of meeting a ton of people on the boat that were actually out here on the working visa. So it's just given us a bit more of an insight into what you actually get up to. Like I've been working at like in hospital hospitality and like hotels, and restaurants, farms. farms and like we went kayaking the other day and the guy that was our instructor was actually there on a working visa so it's just really interesting like you meet so many cool people and everyone's just so down to make friends and there's so many solo travellers isn't there? there are like we're, we're the odd ones out because we're in, a, in like a two people we're heading off to Hamilton Island on a ferry today so you hop on a plane over to Cairns which is slightly higher up and <laughs> great explanation but let's go Welcome to Cairns. We arrived last night, as you saw, and we are staying at Gilligan's. I can't wait to show you Gilligan's. So it's like a backpacker's hotel slash hostel. Like they have dorms, they have private rooms, but there is like so much here. It's like a whole resort. And yeah, we got talking to a bunch of people last night who are here on the working visa. Gilligan's help them like find jobs. Some of them like are employed by Gilligan's. It's incredible. But it is currently 6.30 a.m. We are heading down for breakfast and then we are heading off to spend the day snorkeling on the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah, unreal. We have just arrived at Mawson Gorge so we're gonna have some lunch and then we're going on a guided tour into the rainforest. Oh yes. So my friends, that at the end of our time here at Gilligan's and in Cairns, we're heading off to the airport to go and fly back into Brisbane. It's been a ride here at Gilligan's. This has definitely been a really fun place to be. And I don't think there's a better place we could have stayed in Cairns. Like this is where it all happens. If any like travelers, backpackers are coming out like nightlife, they're probably coming here. If there's any events on, it's probably here. But also, because we're staying in like a private room at the other end of the building, you don't hear any of the noise. So it's like the best of both worlds because there's always people around to make friends with and chat. Yet it's not like a, do you know what I mean? It's not like a typical hostel. It's like the best of both worlds, which is awesome. So team, we are back in Brisbane and today, well this evening, we are going to the Eat Street Food Market Ooh. and this is about 20 minutes from our hotel, so not far at all. And apparently there is nothing like this in the world, so let's go and have an explore. I'm run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Five minutes ago. And now we've given the money over, we're like, Why? Oh no. But it, right? I keep on driving till it bends. Still it feels like I pretend. Keep on driving and driving along the road tonight. And as my head over my 
morning my friends it is our last day in australia we are heading off to a wildlife sanctuary this morning and potentially to the gold coast on the way back and then my friend ella is coming to join us for dinner which is going to be so fun she was supposed to be flying in this morning but her flight got delayed twice she's meant to be flying at 6 a.m then it got delayed to half past eight then half past ten oh maybe three times now it's like 11 o'clock but I think we're still going to see her, fingers crossed. She's flying in from Sydney. But yeah, we're going to head off to the Wildlife Sanctuary and then I think we're going to take the coastal road home and see the Gold Coast. Woo! This is how you started your vlog and this is how you're I ending know. it also. We're in another car. This is our Toyota Corolla and Uber last driving. night's yeah. mistakes. <laughs> oh, um, your so Y looks so dodgy, it's a problem. Why did they do it so like I know. party at the top? Yeah, problem. You <laughs> <laughs> won't come up. So we just named the little baby boy, he's a little wallaby. And he's called Kofi, which is Adam's middle name. I came up with the name. Well, well Adam's parents came up with yeah. the name, and then I took the name. Um, but we have a little baby Kofi. Oh my goodness, what's this one called? This is a uh, redneck wallaby, um, Joey. Hi. He said, I just have to have an oh. x-ray. His mummy was hit by a car last night. Oh no. And he fell out of the pouch, so we'll just check that he hasn't got any broken bones. This is Freddy Krueger, who's actually a girl. Oh, hi. And this is Mizzy. Uh -uh. What's their stories? So little Freddy, she had she has two hooks actually. You can see her incision on her neck there. Oh we yeah. had to surgically remove one of her hooks that was in her esophagus. Mm -hmm. She also has one in her belly, but she also has eggs. Oh. Um, so she's oh, got to lay her I eggs. Think this is her x-ray. Yeah, oh, I was waiting oh, for it to download. I think that I think that is it wow. without the hooks. Yeah. So we have come for lunch. We are at this place where we're going to a place called Rickshaws, which is on the beach. Look at the freaking beach! Incredible. This is one of the most beautiful beaches I've seen. And I can't even believe that this is just what a typical Australian beach looks like. It's ridiculous. On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you for lunch? I am starving. Absolutely starving. Are you happy to be here? Yeah, we're, well, we're only here for such a short amount of time, but I'm glad we're here at least. Yeah, hey, let's go. Look at this. So guys, I have something very exciting to tell you. I'm at dinner. I spent the last three hours in a hotel room catching up on life with Ella. Oh my goodness. So Ella and I met for the first time like a year ago, which is unreal. And, <laughs> and Ella lives here as well. And Ella lives in Sydney. And we've been watching each other for like, what, five years? Yeah, years. it's literally eight. It's crazy. And then we finally met last year, and now we're halfway across the world together. <laughs> I know, I came to see you, but now you, yeah. well actually I came to see with you again. In London, <laughs> yeah true. I'll make an ever next time, I promise. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, we're having dinner, and then we're gonna make some TikToks just because we wanna try and make yeah. TikToks. So my friends, that is it. Our Australia trip has come to an end. We have all gathered in my bedroom, and <laughs> we're filming. Video. Uh, but it's been the most incredible trip. I'll probably do a little summary when I get home because I feel like this video warrants a summary and just kind of, you know, fill you all in on everything else. But from all of us, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. I'm home. So I am sat here with my hot chocolate. I don't know if you can tell just from like the lighting in here, but it is a very grey, dull, cloudy, overcast, rainy, day here in London and I'm not gonna lie I kind of wish I was still in Queensland but I'm not I just wanted to sit at the end of this video and just kind of summarize a little bit so I was obviously there for two weeks we had an action-packed two weeks and I know for a lot of people like I feel like there's two different sides to traveling Australia just from my point of view there's people that want to go for a prolonged period of time on like a working visa experience everything travel around and then there's people like me I'd say I fit into this category who would go on holiday and two weeks was a real test for me as to whether I thought that was long enough to actually like warrant going like all the way to Australia because obviously it's like the other side of the world now I was very lucky to experience it from two point of views I actually flew in from LA so it was one direct flight into Brisbane of 14 hours and then on the way home we did a direct flight from Brisbane to Hong Kong which was nine hours and then Hong Kong back to London which was about 12 and a half they estimate like 12 and a half to 13 so a very different journey but I didn't really find it that hard like I know a lot of people say it's kind of it's well it is a long way but I mean I actually as well you're going to be gobsmacked I've been home so what are we now Monday so I've been home just just under a week and I have not felt any jet lag at all 
Like I got home, we landed at about three o'clock in the afternoon. I did what I needed to do when I got home. I went to bed at about nine o'clock. I woke up at 6 a.m. The next day I was fine, went to bed at nine o'clock. Next day woke up at 6 a.m. And it's just continued until now. I haven't felt jet lagged, which is so crazy. So I found the journey fine. I haven't been jet lagged. So I'm kind of like two weeks is fine. So would I go again? 100% without a doubt. I mean, of my trip, I feel like we did so much of Queensland that I want to discover different parts of Australia, but I will link in the description box either a link to a blog post or I'll just pop it in the description box of all of the info of what we did, where we went, where we ate, like the best deals for things or things that maybe I wouldn't recommend or if I'd recommend walking here as opposed to getting a car or this or that, just so you can kind of see it written down as well. Just I feel like there's a lot in this one video. It's so funny though, because I really didn't know what to expect of Australia, but I feel like the main things that I've taken away is that people are super welcoming, super nice. The whole attitude is just so much more laid back than the UK. It's like unreal. People are like, yeah, yeah, we work, but like, we work to live, we don't live to work. And it's like, oh, that, that cuts deep because especially in London, everyone just works. Like I work all day, every day. And it was such an adjustment seeing how chilled out people were and how like, yeah, like I don't know, might leave early today. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Like it's so cool though. Like I love that. But I do just want to say a massive thank you if you made it to the end of this vlog. Of course, there are some posts up on Instagram of my time in Queensland, but if not, feel free to watch the video over again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, everything will be linked down below and I'll see you so very soon.